Alright, I'm here in Utah. Uh, this is the uh, studio book. And this is my lovely daughter, and we're Hi. fixing to make deep fried corn on the cob. Deep fried corn on the cob. If you've never heard of that, that's because why is it? Um, I've never actually seen it. I thought it was a smart idea, so we started looking it up, and yeah. Yeah. Uh, we found some videos on how to make it. Okay, so, so put all the information together and decided which way we thought it would taste the best and be the best. And so, what's the idea of doing this is there going to be any kind of long-term reaction yeah, so, to this? Um, ultimately, I'm trying to find food to do a food truck. Oh, cool. Um, and so I am going to just start making things that I think would be pretty cool to have at a fair or at an event. You know, things that people see and they're like, I want that. Yeah. So I'm going to start perfecting recipes and find some pretty, um, I guess what they say, pretty average food and make it amazing. So the idea here is how much it, how much it will cost to make. Yes. How much how how good it is. Yes. How much envious it will make someone else walking around yes. when they see it. Oh, where did you get that? Where'd I you want get one. So yeah. So the appeal of it is going to be a lot. So see. we're going to fast forward and do a little bit of this, and I'll get better with you. Okay. So this the first thing we're putting in is uh. Put in the buttermilk okay corn in the bottom of the milk and it needs to be in there for about 30 minutes right or so she said or it so. doesn't really matter okay so that's just buttermilk okay and and this is quick, 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 this quick, is corn flour corn, um, corn flour but we're gonna season it the way that we think it will taste the best and, uh, we're gonna try uh, and there's all different kinds because you can I mean you can do a, a New Orleans style you can right. do it Mexican style you can do it so just do wide open Cajun style, and we're gonna do a habanero lime. Habanero, oh, well. you just love saying habanero. Love habanero. Yeah, habanero. Okay. Let's see what's on better. Sorry for the sound quality, but we have an air conditioner going right behind us. And the main reason for that air conditioner is because I did mention that I was in uh, Utah. Okay, and which, that's that. Um, that's the Cajun Oh, yeah, this is the Cajun stuff. Oh, this is Tony's. I love Tony's. It's good stuff. Mm -hmm. All right, so. So you know a little bit about what it's going to taste like, and this we're experimenting anyway. So this yeah. is uh, so much so that we went to get this fryer today mm -hmm. at the thrift store, and it had never been used. It's brand new, so we got a good deal on it for seven bucks. Yeah, seven what do you do, right? What do you do? All right. So you're going to put one in one, and none of that in the other. Yeah, so then in this one, I'm just gonna do the habanero lime. Oh. Oh, that's the sea salt. Sea salt. Okay. And that is the. And you're putting yours. I, we we watched one video where they put all this on after they battered after it. they battered it, and I, you know. I think it'd be better for it to stay in the batter mm -hmm. as you cook it, so we're hoping that that's going to be the case. All right, so now we just that. All right. Okay, and the next step is uh, just kneading it all in. You say kneading it? Well, you, <laughs> you, need, it. you need it anyway. Just so. mix it. You mix it all up, that's right. <laughs> kneading is, I guess, when it's more <laughs> wet. Yeah, okay. Like you can add it to taste. Yeah, if you want to taste corn flour. Yeah. Well, what do you do? Alright. So, I'm not going to bore you with the mixing. Nope. Okay, this is our, our little helper, Isra. And so he's, I don't know exactly what he's doing there. But he's not going to like it if he takes a mouthful, however. Okay, we're just making sure everything is dipped properly. Yes. Careful. Fully coated. Israel. Look at me and smile. Cheese. Say cheese. Can you say cheese? Mm, or not. Okay, we figure around 350 to 375. Right now we're just to 270 and it's going up. Alright. We have changed into the apron because we are protecting the integrity of Oh good. The now, 
Yes. Yeah, you're, that, I bet that would just went off. Oh, and you are here to see it. Our air conditioner and our it hot has fryer it all. has it tripped, tripped it off. Everything. And so now the sound is great, but our product hey, ain't worth a flip. This what? clock is still going, which makes me feel like this is still going, maybe. Now yeah, the light's off. Yeah, oh well. All right, I'm going to go find the breaker. No. Everybody. Okay, so now we're back online. We're back online. And, and who's the electrician here? Me. That's correct. Yeah, it's me. Normally it's <laughs> That's correct. Me. Normally it's me and um, I really screwed that one up. <laughs> okay, getting back to getting subject. Back to corn. Okay. Okay. Um yes, I was told She to was bring telling you about how wait a minute, I think I see a spot on your uh, Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. I've changed now um, because of oil and Oh I like, yeah, we don't want that. I like this dress. It's very comfortable. I like to lounge around the house in it and I don't want a spot on it. Yeah. So we so you lounge around in the house in your best dress. No, it's not my best dress. It's uh, just a comfortable dress uh, that I enjoy. Ah, okay. Right. You're going to notice I'm going to slip in and out of a southern accent throughout the video. That is because my Because family, I'm visiting. Yes, it's because my family's visiting. That's correct. I don't normally yeah. have a southern accent, but when they come here, I just kind of go back. Do you know what the plural for, for You know what the plural for y'all is? You all? You all, that's Hello. right. That's right. Okay, so you so I know, okay. All right. So we're going to check our oil again. All right, let's take See where we are. <laughs> and so we we're not sure if this um, save a lot. No, it's not save a lot. Uh, DI. DI. Okay. Yeah, we got it from a okay, thrift store. Okay, that's like the Alabama thrift store. Yep. Okay, uh, look. It's, it's working perfectly. It's, working. it's got the ready sign on there, yeah. and so we're gonna pull this off. Okay. Okay. And now we're gonna actually test it to see how fat, how hot it is. But ooh, that, that, and is, then we're also gonna do this. This this cooker has never been used. It's never been used. It was seven dollars. Seven dollars. And as someone who very much so supports the air fryer. Yes. Um, and there's the air fryer. Yep. There, it, yep. it's used multiple times a day. Yep. This is not something I would cook with every day, but if it's going to be on a food truck, um, this is kind of the way to go if we're going to be battering stuff. All right, let's see. Oh, it's ready Ooh, again. Oh, it almost cut my power off again. Did it? No, it didn't, but it almost did. All right, I think we're there. Uh, it says ready. Moving on up. Oh, it says it's ready, but I'm seeing a solid 333. So I'm, I don't believe you. Okay, well, let's just cook it a little longer. Okay, so go ahead. Right now, we're going to start battering our corn. Okay. And pull it out of the buttermilk. We kept it in there for about 30 minutes, which mm -hmm. is what we were told to do. I'm just going to roll it in. Okay, and which one is this? Um, wait, wait, wait. Pop it on the ends. Gonna pop it on the end. No, no, no. What? Dip it down on the end. So it's no. So it's Look all. Look how much it is. It's already on there. Okay. Yeah. So this is actually the. It's your truck. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Cajun. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna do a couple in the Cajun. We're gonna cook those first, and then we're gonna do the lime habanero afterwards. Let me see. You're very careful where you touch it. What do you call it? Um, so it's this, and this is like my favorite, one of my favorite ingredients to put in it. Oh candy. yeah, it's incredible. And they stopped making it for a couple. Your months. mammy in law loves that. It's my favorite. Too. Yeah, it's, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I don't do well with spicy food, but yeah. the amount of wine. Neither do I, but that's good. It's a very gentle habanero. Yeah. Anyway, um, so I'm gonna do three of these in the Cajun, which apparently my dad is familiar with. Tony's, yep. uh, absolutely. Tony's. Everybody. So he makes it with who some doesn't salt. know about Tony's? We mix it with some salt and some pepper. Yeah. And I'm guessing these little pieces are something you cook faster. But okay. they bread incredibly easy. As you can see, nothing's falling off. And we're just going to put it Unlike right. the video we saw. Unlike the video that we saw so uh, far. Yeah, we yeah, yeah, it, yeah. But we're going to go ahead and put it in. Oh, slowly, slowly. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh my god, that is awesome. That is a sexy, sexy Do you want to put the top on it or not? Nope, I want to watch it. Okay, no I want to see all the action. How long? 
10 minutes. Right? No, we so they vary between three and four minutes. So we're just gonna check it, see if it's a nice golden brown in about three minutes. That seems to be the minimal time that people cook it. And we're gonna see how it goes. Okay. But, yep. Fried. I have a very special sauce to go on this. Oh, that's gonna be awesome. Fried corn. Who fried ever heard corn. of it? Yeah, fried Doing corn it. on we're the cob. Frying, we're frying everything. Okay. But get back in a minute. Okay, so we pulled it out, but we're going to put it back in so that it's crispier. Look at that! Oh my. I want to grab one right now. Fair enough. I wish that y'all could smell this. It smells so good. Holy moly, this smells so good. It smells so good. Fried corn on the cob. Can you believe it? Okay, now this it's is... really crispy and it smells good. Alright, which one is... <laughs> which one is this? Um, this is the Cajun corn. This is the Cajun yep. corn, okay. And right. I want to use this, but I think I'm going to use a silicone tip so it doesn't... Oh, I got you. Okay, so we're going to put it on this. Yep. All right, here we go. Okay. Holy moly. That smells so good. And the breading, the integrity seems to be holding up pretty good. It's a little piece, couple pieces that got blown off, but that's okay. Uh, where did it? I don't see where. It so blew. you see where the heat kind of blew up the oh, breading okay. here. Okay. All right. Okay. So we've got our Cajun pieces. They look really good. This oh, one looks amazing. Lord. It seems that, like the longer the piece, the better. Oh, man, that looks good. So now we are moving on to our Mexican habanero wine. We did this seasoning. This, I mean, literally, you can put this on anything. It's incredible. It adds a lot of flavor. Even Rotel dips. I know in the South we make a lot of Rotel dip. Yeah. I might mean, just put a hit of this. It just adds a really good depth of flavor. Let me tell you something. I'm liking. I'm I'm really liking your little fryer, man. I am too. Oh, so, look at this. The lights back on. Seven dollars. Okay, That's and this one, shopping. and this one. Okay, so this is so this, this is, is the one I think that I'm gonna like the most. The habanero? Yeah. You think so? Yeah, I think so. I would think. I think you were a little worried it was going to be too spicy. Well, I'm not a big spicy person. Nope. But the good news about this, you can control. You can still get the. You can still get the depth of flavor without putting too much and yeah. getting it too spicy, which is what I did last night with the uh, alote that I made. Okay. Okay. So we're just going to do a couple, and we're going to test these, and whichever one we like the best. Look at that! Whoa! Whichever one we like the best is what we're going to use the last um, two. Here's the corn Look at that. It can't wait either. Uh, oh, uh, I want you to tell them what kind of oil you're using. Um, I'm just using, I'm using, which is against everything I believe in, but I'm using Crisco. Uh, but it's not lard. It's not lard. No. I'd rather be using avocado oil, but that's all right. Yeah. Okay, that's not what you wanted a fair. That's right. oil. Absolutely. We right. got four of those pretty much. I'm just doing three. So whichever one we like the most is what we'll use this. Oh my gosh, this pepper flakes looks so good. Oh man. Oh, that's gonna be so good. Oh man, put that. God. This one's uh, getting a little close. That to was getting kind of crazy. I'm getting a little bit crazy, so we're gonna put this on. Okay. Okay, we'll be back with you in just a minute. Yep. Okay, so this is for the first pull up, right? Yeah. All right. So the some some of it did come off a little bit, but but look, all that goodness is wow. the thicker you make it, and you've got that choice of putting more or less of that coating on there, That's right? Yep. And I'll be honest with you, I would want more of the coating. Oh. So what I'm learning is. Oh, those are a little darker too. Yeah. So what I'm learning is maybe with this, with the seasonings that I have, um, maybe the grease just a little, not quite as hot, not bubble quite as much, but it's good. Oh God, that looks good. Mm -hmm. It smells amazing. <laughs> amazing. Okay, we're gonna taste one now, and here's what we're gonna look at. It's hot, isn't it? I told no, you. No, it's not. It's so good. It's amazing? Mm-hmm. It's really good. Is it, what, is it as good as it smells? Yeah. <laughs> it's really good. Okay. Oh my gosh. I want my yogurt though. That or my mayonnaise. I have flavored mayonnaise. Oh, yes, right. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll, all right. We'll, I'll be back in a second. Yep. Okay. Um, 
to go to go with this, we're right. talking about making a. Um, you know how you know how you you eat um, the wings and and you get like ranch or something like that that you dip with with it. Well, this this is a this is a um, a dip that she has come up with that you actually eat with this corn. Yep. And even though it is absolutely amazing, the experience has to have this with it. Okay. So I want I want her to explain because I don't I don't got, I've got nothing to do with this. So I want her to explain what it is that th that this is okay all right here we go all right so i make a lot of mexican street corn it's called elote and a uh, what elote elote okay and so what it is it's a mayonnaise that you put on the grilled corn and you do it with the queso fresco and the cilantro and the chili powder and it's absolutely in cilantro it's absolutely amazing so yeah. what i've done um since i grill a lot of street corn is I've made my own um, mayonnaise sauce that I put the habaneros, the lime, the um, cilantro. Is it uh, like mayonnaise in there as well? There is mayonnaise is the base, and then okay. I add a bunch of um, Mexican seasonings and herbs to create this really amazing, fresh, light mayonnaise experience. So with the breading, it's really heavy. So what I wanna do is offer sauces yeah. as well. And so I'm going to add. Oh God! And my dad actually had a lotte for the first oh, time last night, and absolutely loved it, and which was super exciting. Um, because it's my favorite thing to cook, and I'm really good at it. But um, we're gonna add this. Gonna bring a citrus. We put a lot of lime zest in how there. How can you not like this? Yeah. And we're we're not gonna tell you how to make the sauce. You know how to make yeah, this, but, very, but the it's, sauce. It's a secret sauce. Yeah, but secret sauce. We're gonna see if it brings a, like a brightness to the heavy fried stuff. <laughs> oh my god. That part I knew it. I knew it. That yeah. part not right now. Yeah, I knew it. Alright, we're gonna cut so I can give my dad this piece. Okay. So I can taste it. Okay, so you took it down to your husband, I, I took it down to my husband. for a, another taste test. opinion. Yep. A taste test. And what exactly did he say? He said a swear, but he said that it was amazing and then he asked me to marry him again. So <laughs> it's really good. How can you get better than that? Alright. But my mom tried it. She loved it. And my dad tried it. And he, oh, I love it. It made him want to slap his Okay, mind. but we haven't tried. We have not tried the, these yet. So the we're going to try that. Yep. And we're going to figure out which one is best. And then we're going to make those two. These guys. These two guys. Right. That kind. So okay. here we go. Mm -hmm. Look at you still eating your pork, pork, yeah. porky, porky, porky. Yeah. Oh. The other corn, we have the habanero lime in the powder or in the uh, corn flour. And Plus, it's all, yeah, it's in the sauce. Yep, yeah, and I added it. So to you're, the you're sauce. actually getting a double dose of that. I mean, if you listen to everything put together, you could probably make this. You know, it's a secret. So yeah, but um. But will they? They might. Well, it's so much easier to make with your finesse. Yes. I'm sorry. I'm still eating. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we we. We, ch we tested both of them, right. and this is the first one, this is the second one, yeah. and that's the one with the habanero, line. habanero, and we decided that we need a little bit more. We need just a little bit of salt. Even though flavor. I thought it was absolutely awesome, you right. said you, you need to salt. add a little bit of salt, yeah. right? To enhance all those flavors, yes. Okay. So like it was really good, but it just, it fell a little flat in the salt department. So okay, well look, this thing is not on. Oh, well, but you need to cut it back hot, on. So oh, okay. It's probably going to be fine. Okay. But, all right. I wanted my wife to give her example uh, or her opinion, and she said it was absolutely awesome, but she did not want to be on camera. So, uh, apparently, she's killed seven or several people, and they don't want the police to see her or something. I don't know. But anyway, that's right. So, she doesn't want that. But this, again, is my lovely daughter, who I love very much. <laughs> Ain't she pretty? Ain't she cute? Yeah. All right. All right. So. Get this all mixed up. I think we're pretty close. Right, well, I'll be back here. in a minute when this is up to temperature. Yep. Okay. So we've decided to go with the the uh, second one, our lime. second choice, and just add salt. We just added a lot of salt, yep. and we added some more Tony. Nope. We didn't uh, add any Tony. All right. What did we add? Just salt and pepper. That's all. Yep. 
That's all I needed. I thought you, you like, put some you more like... of that ham and arrow. Oh, well, yeah, I put that. No, I didn't. It's right here. I didn't touch it. So. Oh, okay. You like the flavor, and I just don't yes. need to be more defined. So flavor is perfect. I added the salt to kind of accentuate it, bring it out okay. a little bit. And that's it. We'll see how it goes. Well, and this is the one that you and I both like the most, right? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, especially with this. Which All right. We will have a dipping sauce if we do it on a truck. And Absolutely. Dip sauce yep. just makes it. And All right. Here's my biggest thing. My concern is with this particular mix, yeah. it seems to knock the breading off more. So I'm oh, going to yeah. check it and see how it's going. Oh, it's not perfect. Okay. It's okay. So yeah. Hey, you might want to not try the second time around. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, it's it's a pretty good color. That looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's do that. All right. Okay. All right, hang on a second. Okay, there we go. All right. I'm gonna put that up and cut that off. All right. Awesome. Okay, so we decided to go back with um, the, the second one, and then we added a more... Um, so what we're going to do uh, okay. is we're going to take the creole, okay. the batter. We, okay. I like the onion, the garlic, everything All that right. I had to offer. I like the, dim like the dimensions of the garlic. And we're going to mix it with the batter for the habanero wine. Okay. And tomorrow we're going to do that. But yeah, so the two mixes together, I think we're going to get the full flavor that we want in the batter. And yeah, this is oh. This is very much, uh, what do you call it? Uh, so, sell sellable. Uh, what do you call it? Another word for sellable? Oh, this is marketable. Marketable. That's right. So, yeah. Okay, well, this is uh, this is Rick Wilson and uh, Studio Bug. Thanks and for watching me make corn. Absolutely, <laughs> thank you so much, and we love you guys. And uh, talk to you later. Yep. Bye. Bye. Bye.